action. Uh, could be that. Now, you must know the information on this next slide. Physical examination. Physical examination. You must know these four things and what they mean. So, inspection. Inspection means the physician is looking at you. Uh, and again, a physician can tell a lot about a person's health just by looking at them. Um, what is the, um, the tone of their skin? Are they sweating? Um, does their skin have a yellow tinge, a blue tinge, a cherry red? Uh, so it all means something to the physician. So the physician should inspect. They should visually examine. Palpation, not palpitation, palpation, palpation, is using the hands and fingers to feel the feel. So um, you might have um, had someone um, uh, check your, um, uh, your glands in your throat, and they poked and they prodded and they filled to see if they were swollen. So palpation. Auscultation. Auscultation is using a stethoscope to listen to the chest, and that's what this very simple little uh, diagram is showing. And then percussion, percussion, yes, we're using the hands, but we're tapping. It's more than just feeling, they're actually tapping like a drum. So percussion. So physical examination, inspection, palpation, auscultation, and percussion. Now, some techniques and treatments um, to diagnose respiratory problems. So uh, we uh, assess their respiratory rate, how fast are they breathing. Um, if they've got sputum, analyze the sputum. Um, um, endotracheal intubation uh, might be a treatment um, someone might need. Um, literally, process of putting the tube within the trachea. Um, look for abnormalities like masses, tumors, cancers um, by using chest x-rays, MRIs, lung scans. Um, here uh, is an example of a bronchoscopy. A bronchoscopy, you can actually see the branches. See the branches. So endoscopy is a generic term, um, lit, uh, so process of viewing within the body. Bronchoscopy, very specifically, we're looking at that's those structures there in the lungs. Laryngoscopy, um, sur um, not surgical, uh, process of viewing with a lighted instrument, the larynx, the voice box. PFTs, PFTs do know that abbreviation, pulmonary function test, PFTs. Thoracentesis, thoracocentesis, your word elements tells you what that means. Throat cultures, you can imagine they're trying to find out what kind of little critters our, uh, the person has. Arterial blood class, sorry, arterial blood gases, um, sweat tests, and just be able to put that in the right category. So here's a spirometer, not spirometer, a spirometer to measure uh, the air taken in and um, very simple premise. I mean, it, it looks like a clothespin on the lady's nose, and then um, she's directed to um, take a big breath and then to blow out as hard and as long as she can. And the technician um, is pulling off a graph of what that looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a bronchoscope, um, part of bronchoscopy. So um, radiopaque dye, radiopaque meaning opaque, meaning you can't see through. Uh, radiopaque dye, contrast material, in order to get a better looking image. So that thing would be threaded into the lungs. Pharmacology, pharmacology. So um, obviously antibiotics, antibacterials, antimicrobials, antihistamines for your allergies, anticoagulants. They're used for respiratory disor disorders just like uh, for other systems. But now here are some specific to the respiratory system. Bronchodilators, you can imagine they dilate the bronchi. Another device you need to know. Oops. Uh, my pictures went away. Um, but what we're looking for there is a nebulizer. A nebulizer is what that little child um, is working on, a nebulizer. Um, some agents used to treat respiratory conditions. That's why this is being ornery. Let's see if we can't do some quick troubleshooting. And no, it's they've gone.
they've disappeared. Um, but pharmacology, there we go. Yeah, some, for some reason, they went red. They went white. Uh, so you can't see white on white. All right, so uh, nebulizer, um, the little boy there breathing at the bottom. Um, ventilator, uh, someone can't breathe on their own. Some other things, an antitussive. Um, Tussos cough, so antitussives would be to help with the coughing. A decongestive would be obviously be to um, decrease the congestion, that mucus buildup. Expectorant, um, we want someone to cough up that mucus. Some others. Okay. My apologies. So antipyretics for fever, asthma preparations. What disease would that be for? It'd be for asthma. Oh, there's so many. Okay. Mucolytics, mucolytics. You can know that lytic, lysis, means destruction. So this would be breaking down the mucus. And if someone has allergies, um, they might need that. So let's look at some of your abbreviations. ABGs, um, ABGs, yeah, do know um, arterial blood gas, um, know that abbreviation. Um, EGD, EGD, this is actually a little early, um, but go ahead and learn EGD, esophago gastro duodenoscopy. Um, AP, AP, um, antero posterior, do know that. CO2, I'm sure you knew that one. COPD, you must know that one. CPR, if you didn't already know, I know you do. CXR, chest x-ray. DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, one of your vaccinations. Um, so do know all four of these, IPPB, intermittent positive pressure breathing. So do know all four of those. Um, oxygen, PA, postero anterior. R for respiration. Um, SIDS, you must know SIDS. SOB, now be nice. SOB, shortness of breath. Shortness of breath. Do know um, TB and TBR, tuberculosis and temperature pulse respiration. So everything on this slide, you need to know. Um, and everything on this slide, URI, upper respiratory infection and uh, TNA, tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. So let's pronounce the vocabulary. And again, um, um, if it's something made up of your word elements, like bradypnea um, or anthracosis, be able to give a literal definition, slice and dice it. But let me pronounce these for you. Adenoids, alveoli, anthracosis, apex, apnea, apnea, asbestosis, asthma, auscultation, bradypnea, bradypnea, bronchi, bronchiectasis, bronchiole, bronchitis, bronchoscopy, bronchogenic carcinoma, bisonosis, capillaries, coryza, croup, cyanosis, diaphragm, diff Diphtheria, diphtheria, dyspnea, dyspnea, dysphonia, emphysema, empyema, epiglottis, epistaxis, important word, expectoration, glottis, hemoptysis, hypercapnia, hyaline membrane disease, hypoxemia, hypoxia, kusmal, Laryngitis, laryngopharynx, or laryngopharynx, laryngoscopy, larynx, abscess, mediastinum, 
nares or nares, nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx is there somewhere, orthopnea, orthopnea, palatine, palpation, not palpitation, palpation, paranasal, parietal, pleura, percussion, pertussis, pharyngitis, pharynx, phrenic, pleura, plural, effusion, pneumonia, and again, everyone's going to say pneumonia, I am trying to be precise, pneumonia, pleurisy, pneumothorax, edema, coropulmonal, pulmonary paronychoma, embolism, pneumonia again, pneumothorax, rals or rals, rhinitis, rhinorrhea, ronchi, Septum, silicosis, sinusitis, sputum, stridor, tachypnea, tachypnea, thoracentesis, thorax, tonsillitis, trachea, tuberculosis, visceral pleura, and wheeze.